All right, Coach. Here we are in sunny Northern California. It's a sunny day. This is the Bay Area. Yeah. And one of the things about, are we in Silicon Valley area? We are. Okay, we are. let's start there. We talked a little bit off camera about opportunity. I love the fact that wrestling gives people opportunity. I'm talking about boys and girls straight out of high school that they didn't know about, especially at the NAIA level. D1 or bust. Oh my God, I got to go to Penn State. I got to go here. I got to go there. Iowa has a girls program now. I'm going there or bust. NAIA offers incredible opportunity. Let me round out the question. In the Bay Area in Silicon Valley, what kind of opportunities can you offer uh, a female wrestler? I mean, I, I, whew, too many. Too many. I mean, one, we're committed to traveling and competing year-round. We run a pretty high level program, so we're committed to helping you become the best wrestler you can be. But then also on the back end, academically, I think one thing we offer that a lot of, a lot of other op schools don't offer is being able to reach different corporations, being able to network in some of the best corporations in America. Like we're in Silicon Valley, our area is the most affluent area in the country. Like Jerry Rice and Steph Curry live in Atherton our schools in Atherton. You go make a right, you're in Palo Alto, right next to Stanford. You make a left, you're in Redwood City. You get on the highway, you're next to San Francisco. So I think a mixture of all that and then with the booming business and the economy, like usually when something is getting ready to take off in an app or into tech, it starts in the Bay Area. So if you think about Uber, Lyft, DoorDash, all these things, they start in the Bay Area. So when you come and get a business degree or you get a degree in something that requires you working in the business field, I don't know many other states or areas that can really put you in a better position.